Okay, so walk around this uh, either 1986 or 87 Land Rover um, 90 Genuine Factory V8 County Station Wagon. Finished in slate grey with um, the sort of light brown cloth trim as you'd expect. Um, really nice example this one, fitted with a matching set of um, runway enduro tyres. I think it's actually a matching set of five in fairness. Yep, um, on the original Rostar type rims. Um, it's got the proper alpine lights and the opening rear windows and stuff as it should have. It's got side steps on it, mud flaps. What else does she have? Not a lot else that uh, is different or unusual. Uh, rear step and tow pack. Um, inside it's got um, the four individual folding rear seats in the back, uh, all with seat belts. Three individual seats in the front as it should have, uh, and it's got a sports steering wheel. Um, quite low mileage in this one as well, I think, from memory. I think it's um, got, uh, what have we got? 95,000 miles showing on this one. Anyway, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Paint-wise, it's actually pretty good. The paint is, I think, probably 90 to 95% original, um, and it's still in quite good shape. Uh, certainly sort of very, very dent-free. There is some electrolytic reaction coming up here and there, but it is uh, almost 25 years old, if not already. So um, I think that's only to be expected, but say the, the balance of the paint uh, is original. It's got a nice plate on it as well, the D90 plate, being a 90. Um, up around the bonnet here, there's just one or two marks and stuff here on the bonnet, as you'd expect. Um, but otherwise, pretty good. Around the front end, it's all quite nice. Looks very straight down the near side. We've just got a couple of scratches here on the front of the near side front wing just there, but it's not, it's dent free. Um, near side front wing is all good. Up here on the scuttle, it's all nice up here. Has had just a bit of paint down here, I think. There's one or two sort of bubbles and stuff and a bit of um, cracking in the, uh, the metal just up here. Don't think it's been filled or anything. It all feels uh, metallic under there. Just been touched in a bit, just in one or two places. Just a couple of rust spots have been ground back and touched in on there, but otherwise pretty good. A post all looks fine. Passenger door looks very good. I think the bottom part of the passenger door has been repainted by the look of it. Um, same shade, just uh, slightly matter, I think. Um, modesty covers all good. Some electrolytic reaction on the door round by the mirror there as usual and up here as well. Inside here, um, it's actually survived really well, um, including it's got um, carpet mats on it, which is most unusual for a counter. They normally uh, long disappeared, uh, certainly on the passenger side. Has it got on the driver's side? Yes, it has. Uh, all nice in the back. All the headlining's all good and proper. Um, it's got a radio CD. I haven't checked if that works, it's fair to say, but uh, um, I can't remember if we did when we did the other video, if it was. A little bit of tape up here on the back of the middle seat, just um, covering a small, small hole. But otherwise the seats are all in good shape. Doors. Got trim along the bottom, so it's hard to tell, but probably a bit rusty underneath the trim, I would imagine. But um, there's no movement in the hinges or anything. So it's not too bad and it shuts nicely. Near side rear wing is all fine. Up on the side it's all good. Around the tail end, there is some electrolytic reaction on the tailgate up around here and a bit in the corners, but otherwise it's pretty uh, pretty good. In here in the back it's still got its carpet which is all in great shape. This is all very nice. As I say, seat belts on all the seats. Um, the headlining's nice and clean as well. It's a very nice car this one actually, I like this. Um, tailgate frame is spot on, no problems with that at all. Carrying on, looking down the offside again, very straight and clean and correct, no problems there at all. Um, offside rear wing, some electrolytic reaction down here around the fuel filler and up there a bit, but otherwise it's all pretty good. And quite a lot of ele electrolytic reaction on the driver's door, up around here, down on the bottom of the skin there as well and around the handle. Um, again, a couple of bubbles just coming up on the um, offside scuttle corner that have been sort of touched in and ground back, I think, by the look of it. Um, but it still seems pretty solid, just starting to bubble through a bit. A-post is all good. Offside front wing is very good, apart from some reaction just down on the bottom corner there. And a slight nick, actually, just down the bottom corner of the offside front wing. Um, but that's all really nice there, actually.
inside here on the driver's side. Driver's seat's very good. Let's make the um, cushion slightly sort of uh, collapse very slightly on the offside there, but um, all looks good in there. Driver's door, some surface rust. I'm pulling a couple of bits and pieces off my hands. Some rust sort of flaking away there, but uh, it's not too bad. And again, no real movement in the hinges. <coughs> door frames, not too bad really considering it's probably the original one. Um, that's about it really, my name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. Um, we take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can uh, ship it anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it, end.